this working? <laughs> Let's see. We haven't got the plastic on. Right. Hi everyone, I haven't sat down and done a video like this before. I'm a bit nervous actually, I don't know what to say. I watch loads of these videos uh, on YouTube, hauls, uh, and I was on an iron as to whether I should do one myself as, I don't know, it just feels really nerve-wracking getting this camera set up right. It's on about four books and DVDs. Um, but I thought i post on Instagram to see if anyone would like to see what I bought in Walt Disney World and Universal, more so Walt Disney World and the outlets. Um, and everyone said yes and um, since then it's been Christmas and New Year and my family did get me some Disney related presents that they bought in Disney World without me knowing and I thought why not include those in here as well. I'm really really grateful um, my family <laughs> definitely know me well and um, so yeah hopefully you will enjoy this video. The Instagram poll I said I don't think there'll be um, that much in the haul but actually now I've got it sat next to me there is a little bit. Um, I, I won't say who's got me what or anything for Christmas or what I bought or this and that um, but I'll just go through. I'll probably go through the clothing first. So the one of the first times of clothing I bought uh, was a t-shirt. This is actually a children's t-shirt. I got it in the what size did I get it in? I bought this in an extra large and this is the t-shirt here. So it's just a Christmas t-shirt on, I don't know about you guys, but on Christmas day, uh, obviously we're inside and it's a bit chilly um, outside. Um, so we have the heating on and everything and you get a bit warm. So this is just great. Uh, I wore this when I was opening up my presents, which is very lovely. Uh, and yeah, uh, the t-shirts in the children's sizes are a lot cheaper than the adults. So that was great. Uh, and then I also bought another uh, children's t-shirt just because for like a year and a half I kept going on about the snacks that I was going to eat at Disney and I mean this might be a bit creased because I wore it yesterday <laughs> I need to go in the wash um, but I bought, when I saw this top I just, I just couldn't resist it so it says I'm just here for the snacks as you can see which because we were on the dining plan for the first time I was so excited uh, to try all the different snacks and use them as snack credits so yeah this top I've worn <laughs> quite a bit obviously because it's not a Christmas one and um, yeah it's great um, <clears throat> and then I knew I wanted to get two spirit jerseys if I could when I went when I went to Disney um, I knew that we'd got a $200 gift card because we booked through Virgin when the offer was on so I knew I'd have some money towards it because not the, the cheapest um, souvenir to get but I'd seen some online that I really like the look of so um, I really really wanted to get if it was available um, when we were there the Christmas spirit jersey because I saw the one from last year uh, and I just loved it I just like the colours my one of my best friends she's she bought the one last year and I just loved it I said oh I'm gonna try and hopefully get one of those uh, next time and the way I am with Disney merch is you know sometimes you have to get it when you see it but then other times I'm like oh if they haven't gone in stock it's not meant to be but I usually try and get stuff uh, as and when I see it and um, so this is the Christmas spirit jersey here so it's got the um in the corner the uh, logo is that the right word and then as you can see I don't know how much you can see so I'll uh, I'll probably do a still shot of it all it's like um snack colours colours you can tell I'm new to this snack patterns uh, and I did try a few Disney snacks and then on the back is the Walt Disney World uh, and it also looks like um, sprinkles uh, obviously it's meant to um, but it looks like sprinkles on the back and um, so that's really yeah I really really love this and they're really comfy and they wash really well well so far after the couple of washes mine have had um they washed really really well um so that was that one and then the other one which I'd seen on I think it was on my friend's Instagram um before I went um I know they bring out different colours in the spirit jerseys all the time but I really wanted like a light bluey kind of colour uh, and I think I'm saying this right it's the Aqua Arendelle one um now when we went to Disney Springs I think it was they can check on this little iPad thing uh where in store like what stores across Walt Disney World have them in stock they didn't have any in stock in Walt Disney World I spoke to a cast member but they didn't check on the iPad they just all oh, sorry we don't have any they've gone really quick and I was like oh, okay that's fine and I was looking then I think I was looking at the stuffed um stitches which is a funny story because I didn't buy one but I may have ended up getting one for Christmas um I was just looking and then I was speaking to a cast member from Australia and she said uh she said how are you going and everything I said oh yeah it's good I said oh I'm, I'm just looking because I was looking for um the spirit jersey she said oh let me have a look to see where where are you staying kind of thing 
um, and we'll see if there's any in like your hotel shop which was really nice um, and she looked and she said oh so it says we haven't got any here but we've got some in the marketplace I said oh, okay she said but let me just check on the rails where they'd be and this cast member took me to somewhere where I hadn't been in the store the world of Disney is like massive and they've changed it and redone loads of things to it so I didn't know where anything was not that I would normally because they always have loads of stock and it had been two years since I'd been but she took me to a separate part and like lo and behold there was one spirit jersey left kind of like hidden behind the uh the jumpers with the Mickey Mouse on and so she said oh there's there's one here but it didn't have a tag on but it was for sale uh, and I looked at it I was like oh I'll have a look it probably won't be my size uh, but it was so I was just like oh that's obviously meant to be and I was really happy because I didn't really see them in many shops that we went into after that so I was really happy and this is the um, I don't know how well this is going to show with the background but the aqua I think that's the name of it I'm sure I'll get corrected if not and on the back it's like silver glitter which is really nice it is very glittery i wore um black leggings and flew home in this and then uh, on my black leggings yeah there was just glitter that comes off in the wash it's fine but i've washed it like separately to um my other items just because i mean i don't know how much you can see how glittery oh you can kind of pick it up yeah it's quite it is quite glittery uh but yeah so those were the clothing items and then for I, I love Stitch. Stitch is my favourite character. Um, yeah, I just don't have to always meet him and I love any like Stitch merchandise. It's just my favourite. Uh, and on Christmas Day, I actually opened this from one of my family members, which I was so surprised at because I'd said, um, I said to my partner, I was like, oh, I really like that. But, you know, I'd already bought two spirit jerseys. So I was like, oh, I'll leave it. He didn't actually tell the person who'd bought it me, but they just saw it and thought I'd like it. So that was <laughs> funny. But this is a hoodie. Um, here we go so it's just like a patterned hoodie with a stitch on the front and it does all the way down as it does and then on the back it says aloha the fabric's really soft as well it's quite lightweight um, so I could just chuck it on when I'm going to the gym or when I'm just hanging out around the house it's really uh, really nice and I really do love it and I can't wait I think it'll be good for when you're flying and you know you just want a jacket that you can chuck on and chuck off um, in case the aircraft is too cold or too warm um, but let's see the oh the price is on this one so this was actually $54.99 and obviously tax as well but uh, yeah it feels lovely quality and I can't wait to wear it I haven't worn it yet because the weather well it's dark now so I don't know how well this what lighting is going to be uh, the weather uh, hasn't been the best in England at the moment it's I mean it's not cold that cold at all it just this is quite a light hoodie not a winter hoodie so those are all the clothing items um, I'll show you two things now which I got for free because I was staying in a Disney hotel well actually only one of them really um, if you stay in a Disney hotel you get a magic band it's your room key it's your dining plan it's your park tickets it's everything and um, basically you just scan you thought will it oh yeah I did the trick that people do uh, if you just scan that when you go into the parks for any snap credits anything it yeah it's just magic band and then you'll find that when you come back from a Disney holiday if you've had this on for two weeks you kind of miss just using it to open doors and <laughs> um, just for everything so yeah so I had a magic band and then on one of the days when we went into Epcot by International Gateway they were handing out um, these uh, badges please excuse my nails um, I don't know if that's focusing there we go so it was Mickey's birthday when we were there and they were handing out these um, around the park which was really cool because obviously you don't get those uh, every day and that was for free um what to go on to next and um, so this was a gift for christmas now i absolutely love starbucks i love the straw the strawberry acai drink that they do in america oh, i've just i've come back from skiing recently and they had a starbucks there and i just had like the biggest strawberry acai there is just because it's my favorite ever drink from there I love it I wish they did it in England um but yeah it's amazing and I said to my partner I said oh I really want to get um well I'd really like to buy my spending money one of the Starbucks cups and he said oh why don't why don't I just get it you as one of your Christmas presents so I was actually there when we did buy this but it's a very big cup as you can see size of my head and um, it's got Starbucks on the front and then when you turn it round let's see how much that'll focus when you turn it round, it's got all of the, let's try and get it to focus a bit better. 
there we go. So it's got uh, the Epcot Ball, it's got Spaceship Earth, the Castle, um, Animal Kingdom, um, the Tree of Life in Animal Kingdom, <laughs> Tower of Terror. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait to use this. I haven't used it yet because I hadn't done this video. Uh, but hopefully it'll make me drink more. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. And I don't know if they've come up with a different one now, but yeah, I love this. So I can't wait to drink out of that. Um, oh, this is a cute gift. So this was kind of one of the stocking fillers from one of my family members but it's really funny because I was actually with them and we were just looking in the shop and looking at key rings I went oh my gosh that looks so cool but you know when you're just looking something oh that's really cool but you don't buy it um I thought this is so cool and this was one of the presents that they <laughs> bought me let me try and so it's a mickey waffle key ring like it's quite it's quite big like it fits in your hand but I just thought it was so cute Let's see if it'll focus Oh, lighting's not the best, sorry. But yeah, it's really, really cute. And I was really grateful and surprised because that I, I just hadn't thought about it. And I was like, oh, and they said, if we, we fit that one because we knew you liked it. So, um, so that was great. Um, I'll, you know what, I'll finish doing the Disney stuff and then I'll move on to the the one thing from Universal and then the outlet -y thing. So, um, I collect pins. Me and my brother have, uh, well, my brother and I uh, have collected pins since we were little we wouldn't buy loads we'd only buy one or two each trip and over the years um they've managed to you know we've got quite a few pins now um but now and we used to trade them when we were younger we don't trade as much now just because the pins that we buy we kind of like um a lot well you should like all your pins but you know what i mean i'm rambling um so yeah so i'll just show you i bought three pins this trip um this first one's a bit of a random one i was just looking and obviously i love stitch um and so uh, me and my partner were just looking and he was like you need to get this one like this is your face when you eat my chocolate and then have to tell me so um this is the first pin i'll just see if it will focus let's see there we go it says sorry not sorry with a massive stitch grin on it um i don't know the price of it but it's got silver on the back whatever price that is um but yeah i just couldn't resist it because that's so true when i use chocolate he does let me i'm not just yeah he like he lets me share and <laughs> uh, the next pin i got was now this is annoying because they usually have these kind of pins in the character warehouse outlet on vineland <laughs> um but i was kind of like you know what i'm not gonna i don't know the next time i'm gonna be in florida so i'm just gonna buy it and because we'd never been to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party before, I was like, I'm just going to get it. So, uh, this is the limited release Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party pin. There we go. I was just kind of like, oh, we've gone to the party. I really want to get something to remember it because we had such a nice time. We had such a laugh. It was really, really great. Uh, and so I bought one of these pins uh, to remember that. But yeah, I... I don't know that they will be but I've seen them in the outlets before so for a lot cheaper but oh well I was like I want to make sure I've got that one and then the final pin I bought actually I should have really bought in 2017 Um I went I well I worked on the cultural exchange program uh, as a slide up in Typhoon Lagoon I worked there for three months in 2017 absolutely loved it and for some reason I didn't buy a pin to remember I guess it's because I had loads of other things and photos and memories um so I didn't buy one um but this time I was in the Typhoon Lagoon shop because we were picking up some towels in there um and I just saw this one it had stitch on so I was like I've, I've got to get it so this is the Typhoon Lagoon pin there we go but yeah it's just a small pin this one's also um silver um but yeah I was just like I really wanted regretted not getting one last time so I picked that up this time now oh there's one one more Disney thing well there's a couple really actually um I need to kind of black out the picture see anyone <laughs> let me see hold that thought one second okay that's fair <laughs> um so this is a photo frame which one of my family members bought me for Christmas and I don't know why it got me a bit emotional I think it's the phrase that's on it Ahana means family uh, my family are everything to me so uh, yeah it did get me a bit emotional on Christmas day but uh, it's a lovely lovely frame and the, the reason why I just had to stop them is because there's a photo of my family in it um, and they don't want to be on YouTube obviously so um, so I've just quickly took that out and I'll pop it back in now but yeah this is the frame 
yeah it's just lovely so i was really really chuffed and surprised with that and grateful um and finally the last two things which are kind of disney like um i didn't i didn't buy these myself these were a gift um, and I was really surprised because I didn't I didn't ask for anything. Um, I did have a suspicion that I might get the odd Disney present because they know I'm Disney mad. Um, but yeah, this first one actually I don't think it is. They, uh, my parents bought me these from the Boardwalk Pandora. Um, but I don't think these are Disney ones because they don't have it on there. I'll have to check before I edit this <laughs> and see if this isn't in, that's why. Um, but there's these um, Pandora earrings mainly because I um, I had to have my ears re-pierced for uh, my best friend's wedding um, because I was a bridesmaid and I wanted to wear the earrings. It was only like I just about couldn't, you know, sort my earrings out. And so I now need some just to put in every day. So I was really surprised and grateful for that. And then I remember on Christmas Day I opened that one first and then as a surprise gift I opened up this box which says Disney Parks Pandora. So... One of my favourite things at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party was the um, that I got to meet the Seven Dwarfs. I was so excited to do that uh, and it was really, yeah, it was really, really great and it was just the thing that I remember most from the party. Now, I don't know how well you'll see this on camera, but basically, um, this is a Pandora charm of the Seven Dwarfs. So, I don't know how, if that will focus or not. Oh. It's focused, but you can't really see. But basically, oh, my nails look awful. But basically, as you go round, um, you can see uh, each of the seven dwarfs. And I was so surprised, and I didn't even realise that they did uh, a charm for the seven dwarfs. I was really uh, grateful because my family knew that was like my favourite thing from Mickey's Very Merry. And um, yeah, I just I love it so much. So I've got to put that on my uh, bracelet now. So I think that's everything from. Disney oh, oh no I better say one more thing one more thing that I got given as a Christmas present from my partner was something that I was eyeing up and I mentioned earlier in the video now I've never asked or any I didn't ask for anything for Christmas to be honest and um, the only thing really was that Starbucks cup in Disney um, now this was a real surprise and he wrapped it really really well because this wouldn't be easy to wrap but I got given a big <laughs> stitch um, yeah, he's quite big. He's like this big. He sits on he sits on the side. Uh, but like I said, Stitch, if you can't tell with the theme of this haul, Stitch is my favourite. I feel like I've got a little child just sat on my lap now. But yeah, he's um, he's really big and he's really, really cute. So I was really grateful for that. And I had no idea it was him when it was wrapped up. So, um, so yeah, so I've got a big Stitch. <laughs> Final thing is Disney are doing reusable bags, which is fantastic. I've got a smaller one from Magic Kingdom, which I use for like work for my lunch. Um, but then also picked up an Epcot um, reusable bag. This one's like double the size of my other one, so I haven't used this one yet. But I think it'll be really great, you know, if you're doing the food shop or if you're going shopping and you are getting a lot of things. So that's really great. So I'm going to go on to the Disney Springs stuff now. There's only a few things really. Um, when we went, there was for one, I think it was over a weekend, but because we got there this, this Sunday, I think it was only for a few days while we were there. Sephora had a, a kind of like a reward member extra discount. So I'm part of their reward scheme, even though I live in the UK. And uh, anyway, they had an extra discount in Sephora. And so... Um, I was kind of like, well, I know I'm going to buy my foundation and like some face masks, so I might as well do it while there's a, you know, added sale. And I think it was an extra ten percent off. I can't, can't be certain, but I think it was. So, ooh, it's a bit dusty. Um, so I, even though I've not run out of my foundation just yet, I thought it was best to pick some up while it's on sale on offer, uh, while I've got that extra discount. So I picked up the Nars um, Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. Uh, this is my favourite. It's very full coverage because um, my skin <laughs> breaks out especially on flights it's just yeah I've not got good skin and you know I exfoliate and everything and take my makeup off all the time um, but yeah I've just not always got the best skin but um, this foundation is really nice it doesn't feel too heavy uh, and it's just one that seems to agree with me so I picked one of those up and then I also picked up in Sephora now I love 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 their face masks 
I don't know why I just like the sheet mask. I think it's really like clean and easy to take on, take off. I do occasionally put one on on the plane. I am that person. Only because I think my skin gets so dehydrated because I probably don't drink enough and all this and that. So I do sometimes put some on if I'm going on a long haul. But so I picked up, I'll just show you a few. Um, these are the sheet masks. So I picked up quite a few. I'll just show you these three. Um, but yeah, you can you can feel them in there, um, and they're great. There, I mean, they're not the cheapest in the world, but they do the job and they smell really good. And yeah, I really really like them, so I try and stock up when I go. And then the other thing that I stock up on, which I swear by, are these. So these are <laughs> in some ways this is probably too much of a but these are charcoal nose strip pores like i cannot tell you how good these are that like, i've used other ones but these are just so good i stocked up on them i think i bought like 10 at a time and the uh, lady behind the till was looking at me i was like they're just really really good um and yeah they do the job they work really well they're probably the best nose pore strips that i've used but i feel really weird saying that but yeah they are really really good um and then i guess i'll just move on to the i think i only bought one thing in universal apart from obviously you know having the odd lunch or ice cream or drink although we did find the best cookie place i think i'll show that in a vlog at some point but um yeah we did find a place that does a really good chocolate chunk cookie really nice but the only thing i bought which i have bought before in the past is oh, right is a chocolate spits mushed up a bit is a chocolate um frog now in the past i've always ate the chocolate frog like yeah, I've just ate it, I paid like however much it is for it. Um, but this time I took a bite of it and I didn't really like the chocolate. So I'm going to see if someone else in my family wants to have some of it with me. Like it was fine, but it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't taste very nice for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, and then, oh, where have I put the card? I got, I know I, I, there was two cards in here by accident, I'm assuming, because it was the same person. But I've got, I'm not sure where I've put them. I probably put them with the other ones, but I did have one of the cards in here as well can't remember the character and who it was but yeah so I picked up one of these from Universal um just because yeah I normally like the chocolate in them but not this time I guess the final things really that I bought were at the Vineland International Outlets I'll probably do this haul and then find something else I bought but I think that's nearly everything um so I went into the I'll start here so I went into the um cosmetics company outlet and i got a couple of things they have really good offers on lipsticks in there and i think as well when we went in there was extra um discount again for some reason um and so i picked up uh, this mac lipstick so this one is called i think that's gonna focus yeah picked up a matte lipstick this one is called shy girl now I haven't got this one and haven't seen it but I think it's a nude. Yeah, so when I was in there I had a look. So it's a nude oh, there we go, nude lipstick, which I like. Uh, well uh, yeah, I really liked it and it was a really good price. Um I can't remember how much it was, but I want to say anywhere between eight to ten dollars, eleven dollars ish. And um, you can pick up some really good deals um on lipsticks and branded makeup in the cosmetics company store. I also picked up these, I hadn't seen these before, I've only got a, a bigger beauty blender, but I picked up these, I don't know if that'll focus, I feel like I'll say it throughout the video, anyway, they're two mini um, original beauty blenders, they're called Micro Mini, I thought they'd be really good, you know, for travel and also for like, doing that for travel and for concealer under the eyes or like smaller blemishes um i thought they would be really really great for that so i haven't used them yet as you can see because i wanted to include them in this video if i was going to do this video um so yeah so uh i will be using those soon and then the final thing that i bought was something from michael kors um so i needed i've got a card holder but i needed one um, I say I needed one, I would have liked one um, that had sev like more cold ca card holders. So the one I've got has got about three in the front, three in the back. And we were in my golf course because we were just having a look, say again, had a really good sale on. Um, and I wanted to buy um, 
something for my mum from there uh, for Christmas because she said she needed a card holder and um, so I bought her one and then I also they had like a, a, a the if you go into the vinyl and Michael Kors you've got as you go in on the left and right there's bags if you go further to where the tills are on the left hand side there was um like an extra clearance sale and I think it had 70 to 80 percent off and so um I saw this which um it looks like a purse but when you open it inside there's actually all of these um what's it called card holders so there's quite a few in there and then there's a zip in the back god i'm holding that with <laughs> there's a zip in the back so you can put some change in there but really i guess it's just it's like a purse but it's a lot more um compact so it's thinner so you could fit this easily like into a clutch bag um for like i don't know if you're going to a party or something um and yeah it had it was really well priced again i can't remember the price of it because it was a couple of months ago now but um yeah i just love the color this is my favorite color if you haven't um guessed uh, and yeah i thought it would work really well so i picked up one of those and i think just looking around i think that is everything i've got i've got this balanced camera balanced on my suitcase on books so i'm just like Ooh. i didn't actually think i'd bought that much but this again um but i actually did <laughs> this is a haul of what i got for christmas disney themed uh, and then also what i actually bought in disney we did have some um snack credits left over not loads we had like three or four and so we picked up some Girardelli chocolate i had the caramel the caramel's really nice sort of caramel's nice but it's dark chocolate i think which i, I do like i like most chocolate um, and I also picked up some Chips Ahoy at the airport. I love Chips Ahoy cookies. Uh, Chips Ahoy chewy cookies are just my favourite thing ever. They're so tasty. Yeah, I feel more comfortable now. I was really nervous before, but I hope you enjoyed this video. But it is pitch black outside, so I'd better finish off the video. But yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the vlogs, and I'll see you soon.